Hi, it's Dr. Steve Weiner again, and I'm going to discuss a hot topic, which is PRP. And PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma, which is actually a portion of your blood that is taken from your arm, we draw your blood, and then we spin it down and we concentrate the platelets. The reason why this is done is because platelets have a lot of growth factors, healing properties to them. So when you cut yourself, whatever, the platelets are the first thing that go to the injury and they release all these cytokines, growth factors, and promote healing. So for use in cosmetic uh, industry, we're trying to get uh, improvements with injuries or problems that we've occurred over the years and to bring a more youthful appearance to some of the areas that we apply it to. So the areas that we use it for are we use it for the face, for acne scarring, for improving uh, rejuvenation, and we use it primarily here to improve the scalp for hair growth because as we age, the hair uh, gets less and thinner and more sparse, and we try to bring back the youth factor in the scalp by applying the PRP. PRP also promotes stem cells, which are quiescent cells that kind of have an ability to be turned on by the PRP and to create more hair. So the controversy that I have been going through is what really is PRP? Because there's no regulations stating uh, what constitutes PRP. So PRP is a concentrated solution of platelets. But what is the concentration that you're getting? That's very important. So uh, let me just step back a little bit. Blood is made of uh, blood cells and plasma. Uh, so, about 50% of the blood is red blood cells, the rest is plasma. So when you get rid of the uh, red blood cells, which aren't useful for PRP, you, you cut the volume in half. So you go from, let's just take, for example, if you go from 10 cc's, you get rid of the red blood cells, now you're down to 5 cc's. And now, so now you have these platelets, and now you want to concentrate them. So, the ideal concentration that's been found with a, a couple studies is six times the concentration of normal blood, which is 1.5 million platelets per cc. So essentially what you're gonna get if you uh, concentrate the platelets down is a one cc or two out of 10 that is actually useful or very concentrated platelets. So if you're not getting more than 10 cc's drawn, you're probably not getting very much useful PRP. Let, let's look over here. So over here, what I have is the Magellan system. And I consider this the, the Mac Daddy of all PRP systems. Now there might be some coming in the future, but right now this is the best. So what this does is, uh, what's really cool is that what you do is you, you put the, the syringes on here and it uh, automatically feeds into a centrifuge here. And so it's a completely closed system, so it, it gets rid of the possibilities of infection or contamination. But the other cool thing is up here, you can dial in what type of concentration of the PRP you want. So uh, I typically will draw 60 cc's of blood uh, per patient. I, 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 and then I concentrate that down, 60 cc's, down to about six to eight cc's. So that's a very, very good concentration of platelets. So uh, eight cc's is probably the magic number where you get six times the concentration of platelets. So it's been shown that if you actually get more concentrated than six times uh, the platelets in the blood, it could be detrimental. So what we shoot for in our practice is the 6x. Uh, if you're getting less than 6x, you're not getting optimal treatment with PRP. So please ask your doctor, what is the concentration of the platelets in the PRP that you're getting? Make sure that you're getting true PRP. That, and this, this system is actually called true PRP. So in any event, PRP is very popular these days. It's used for vampire facelift, vampire facials. It's used for hair which is our primary use of PRP. And you need to know that what you're getting in the PRP, because not all PRP is as effective as other PRP. 
Thanks, Dr. Weiner, signing off.